Welcome back to our video series, A Complete Guide to Starting a Website. Part 1 was an overview. Part 2, we learned how to purchase a domain name and purchase web hosting through HostGator. And in Part 3, we're going to look at how to install WordPress with HostGator. If you missed anything from those first two videos, you can click on the links over to the left. If you'd like to start the video as a playlist from the beginning, click the top left hand corner of the video. Now again, part three, we're going to learn how to install WordPress. Since we used HostGator, installation is simple with their one click script installs. So first we need to get back into our control panel. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can go back into your email and click on the link that was provided to you. Or you can type into your address bar yourwebsite.com slash cpanel. So that's yourwebsite.com slash cpanel. And that will bring us to the control panel login. Now your username was given to you in that email. And the password, if you followed through with the last video, you changed your password. So that will be the password that you just changed in the last video. If you haven't yet changed your password, it will be the password that was provided in your email. Then we log in to the HostGator control panel. And again, it can be overwhelming, but not much we have to worry about. We just want to install WordPress. Now, I mentioned in the first video that they offer a $100 Google AdWords credit. So you see that over here on the left. You can redeem that at any time, and it's a good way to drive some traffic to your site without having to spend any money. But that's not what this video is about. So let's install WordPress. You're going to scroll all the way down to software slash services. Now there's two options for installation. Both are pretty simple. We can click on Fantastico Deluxe, and that's pretty simple. Or we can use Quick Install. We'll use Quick Install. On the next page, we want to click WordPress and then continue. Next, you want to make sure you've selected the right domain. Again, with HostGator, you can have multiple domains. So I already have a domain on my account. I want to make sure I select the right one. And then this, this forward slash, if you'd like your WordPress to be installed, somewhere else on your page like under a blog tab sometimes you can install it for example put blog here and then WordPress will be installed at learnhowtostartawebsite.com slash blog is where you'll find WordPress in our case to get started we wanted to leave that blank auto upgrades are good you're gonna enter your email address we're gonna put a blog title you're gonna put your first name your last name and your admin username. For consistency, I usually keep it the same as my HostGator control panel admin. And then you're all ready to click install now. And it will start to install and this pro process goes pretty quickly. And there we are, we're done. We'll scroll down here. So congratulations, our WordPress is installed. Again, there's some important information here. Our username, which we just chose, but then this password. So this password is to log in to WordPress. So you're going to copy that, and then you can click here to take us back to our website. And here we are at our website. It's the generic WordPress startup. It has our blog title, and it has some dummy information in here. It has a first post. So now WordPress is successfully installed, we want to log in to our control panel. You can do this scrolling down and click log in, or you can type yourwebsite.com slash wp hyphen admin and then click enter. Either of those will take us to the WordPress login. Again, we just created our, our name and the password we're copy and pasting what they just gave us in the email and then click login now we're at our dashboard for WordPress this is where we'll make all the changes to our website so again the first thing we want to do is change that generic password they gave us to something we'll remember so we're going to click on users 
and then select yourself, just click on it, then scroll to the bottom. You don't need to change anything else right now. But then down here, we're going to put in our new password and then repeat it and then update our profile. All right, and that's all we'll do for this video. WordPress is successfully installed. Our website is up and running. We can see it here. Now, the next thing we want to do is install a theme, and we'll do that in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching. Please take the time to comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video where we'll install a WordPress theme.